It's time for your favorite radio program, Chatting from the Word, with your host, your brother, brother Oscar York, on the Spreaker platform, where we are chatting about the Word from the Word and putting that all-important snap in your Christian world. Good morning, world. Good morning, America. This is your brother, Brother Oscar York, here on Chatting from the Word, your host. And we are so delighted to uh, bring you this program at this time, this morning. And we hope that you have your ears on and ready to hear another excited program from us here on Chatting from the Word. My friends, do you have your ears on? Are you ready to praise the Lord? Are you ready to lift his name up as high and as high as we can lift him before the Hey, hey, hey. And we're so delighted that you are. We're so delighted that you have years old and that you listen to your brother here, Brother Oscar York. And we're ready to praise the Lord today. I am. What about you? You know the Lord. You know, as we slept and slumber on last evening, he watched over us. He blessed us with another wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Yes, he has. A day that was kissed by him. If Brother Oscar can say those words, another day, another time, another chance to make it right with him, another chance to walk closer and closer with him. It was David who says in Psalm 118, 24, this is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I don't know about you, my friends, this morning, but I am going to praise the Lord. Hey, hey, and I am going to be glad in it. Thanking him for giving this old guy here another day, another time, another chance to just praise him. What about you, my friends? What about you? Are you ready to praise the Lord? Many, many believe you don't need to praise the Lord. But Brother Oscar, you don't take it from the Word. Believe in praising the Lord all the chances, all the times that he can get to praise him. What about you on this fine, fine morning that the Lord has blessed us with? Amen and amen. And we hope that you all feel the same. Do you feel the same, my friends? Are you blessed? I know I am. Thanking the Lord for his grace and for his mercy. Amen and amen. Now what I want to do now is welcome all of our visitors. If this is your first time listening in to us here, chatting from the Word, we want to welcome you to the program. Welcome, 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 welcome to the program. And not only are you our welcome visitor, but you are our honor visitor. We honor you today, thanking you for keeping your ears on and listening to your brother here, Brother Oscar York. I do appreciate that very, very much. And if you are listening and completely listening, Tell your friends about us here at Tell It From The Word. If you love what we're doing this morning, tell your friends, tell your loved ones, shout it on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, uh, YouTube, whatever <laughs> it is that network that you're using. Tell them about us here at Chatty. From the word, we will appreciate that very, 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 very much. Amen and amen. My friends, do you love what we're doing here on Chatting from the Word? Do you love us? Do you love Chatting from the Word? Do you love talking about God's Word? <laughs> if Brother Oscar uh, can use that, that, that phrase. Do you love praising Him and, and lifting His name up? Do you love it? And are we putting that all important plop, 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 snap in your Christian walk? 
And if we have done that, if we have truly done that, help us out financially here. We do need your financial assistance if you can do just that. Any amount will do. Any amount will do. Now, we do have a account on PayPal. Just go to the PayPal web page and put in my email address, which is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. Again, that's PayPal.com. And put in my email address, which is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. Com. Now, if that doesn't work for you, you can always go to Zelle. Go to Zelle and do the same. Put in my email address, which is again, lowercase Oscar York, 3443 at gmail.com. And do it today. Do it today. We hope that you do it today. Now, you know what we believe here? A little bit by a little bit by a little bit equals a lot. Now, if you want to put plenty in there, in our account, that would be a beautiful thing as well. But we want to thank you in advance for doing uh, just that. All right, all right, all right, Oscar, all right. Now, you all know where we are, where we are <laughs> worshiping too, but you all know where we're broadcasting from, correct? I say it every day on the program, we're broadcasting from that great, 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 great state of Ohio. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And Ohioans, we hope that you have ears on that to listen to your brother here, Brother Oscar York, here in Ohio. Ohio. Ohioans, put your ears on and listen to your brother. We are so glad that you will do, 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 just that. Amen. <laughs> Amen, Brother Oscar. Is it all right? Just want some love. He's just showing some love. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And uh, a a man. Where am I? You all? Where am I? 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 Hey, 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 hey. Yes, we are. We are here. We are here. And time for our summary. Time for our summary. You heard our introductory song, which was God's Grace and Mercy, sung by Wayne Williams. And then my prayer time, my prayer time. Of course, Radiance of Capella, sweet hour of prayer. And the scripture that we are going to uh, uh, read during our prayer time will be taken from James 5. And I believe we will be coming from verse ooh, 15 through 20, I believe. So if you want to read along with us in that scripture reading, you're welcome to do just that. And of course, the song for this program today will be that magnificent Vanda as she sings one more day. The Lord just give us day by day. If we just thank the Lord each day he wakes us up. And that one day, one day, just one day, just one day. And of course, the message, the message, the call of God, the call of God. I was thinking this morning about the message, and I know many of you say, oh, we're stuck on one scripture, on, on one, uh, <laughs> Apostle Paul wrote the Roman, to the Roman Christian in the Roman letter in chapter 15, verse 15. And I know many of you say, oh, we've been on this verse for a long time. Yes, we have. But what we want, what we want to do is remind you, there's so many components to this verse because here Paul, at the end of the verse, he talked about the grace that was given to him. And there's so many components uh, where we are talking about the grace of God. Amen. And amen. So we, we hope, my friends, that you will keep your ears on long enough to hear the message today. Amen. Amen.
This is our prayer time, and if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for here at Chatting from the Word, that is beautiful. 
you know what to do. Just send it to my email address, which is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com, or you can put it on our Facebook page that's dedicated to the program, Chatting from the Word, hosted by Brother Oscar, or you can put it on any page that you're listening to the program through if you have a prayer request. Now, if you have a prayer request that you want to keep confidentially, and that is fine, we do respect that here on Chatting from the word just simply say, Brother Oscar prayed for me and call my name, and we'd be so delighted to do uh, just that. Of course, this is our prayer time, and if you have again a prayer request that you want us to pray for you, on chatting from the word, you can use those avenues to get your prayer request uh, through to us. And as always, uh, we want you to keep those in, on your prayer list or whenever you communicate with God in your prayers. Those that have lost loved ones, those that are preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, trying to make a difference in the world, and those that are going through some tough times. Let's keep all those in our prayers. And of course, if you want to be along with us doing our prayer our scripture, our scripture will be taken from... Uh, First Thessalonians 5, and I believe we want to begin with verse, let's begin with verse, uh, oh man, let's begin with verse 14, it's <laughs> not a good place to start, and if you want to read along with us, you're welcome to do uh, just that. In verse 14 of First Thessalonians 5, the Apostle Paul penned these words, he said, Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men. See that men render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good both among yourselves and to all men. Rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing, and everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Quench not the spirit, despise not prophecy, prove all things, hold fast to that which is good, and abstain from all appearance of evil. Amen. And amen. Thank you, Apostle Paul, for those fine, fine words. All right, will you pray with me, please? Our Father, our Father, which art in heaven, our almighty, mighty God, our Father who sits high but looks low. Oh, Father, we come to you this morning in the humblest way we know how, with our heads bowed and our minds and hearts. Lift it up to you, first of all, Father, in thanksgiving. Father, thank you for giving us this wonderful day, a day that none of us never witnessed before. Thank you, Father, for watching over us on last evening as we slept in slumber. Oh, Father, we just thank you for your graces all over the place this morning. We thank you, Father, for your merciful, loving grace. And, Father, we thank you for allowing your only begotten Son, Jesus, to come down on this cruel world. To show us first of all how to live and how to love. And then deeper love by dying on the cross, taking our place, becoming sin for us so that our sin may be eradicated. Oh, Father, we thank you so, 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 so much for that. And oh, Father, we come praying at this time for the a condition of the world. Father, we, we recognize that Father, the world is in deep, deep chaos. But Father, we pray that we that are, are calling on you, Father, we that uh, are Christians, that we can continue to have faith in you and through you because we, because of what's going on, that we may keep our eyes on Jesus that we may keep our hearts on Jesus, that we may keep our minds on Jesus and show the world Christ in us.
Oh, Father, we come praying for those that have contracted this coronavirus. Father, we pray that to be with them, help them through their struggles, help them through their sickness. Father, be your will, touch their bodies so that they may rise from the sickness and give you all glory, praise, and honor. Oh, Father, we come praying for those that have lost loved ones at this time. Father, we pray that to be with them. Be with each teardrop that fall from their eyes. Be with each moment that they think about their loved one, Father, or missing that loved one. Comfort them during a mourning period. And, Father, we pray that you comfort those that are losing loved ones at the hands of the police. Father, we may not know all the whens and the whys and the whats, but, Father, we recognize that they are struggling as well, that they are in mourning. So, Father, we pray that you be with them as well. And, Father, be with the police officers who felt as though they needed to take a life. Oh, Father, we just... We just pray that it was justified, and if justified, Father, we pray for those police officers who had to do what they believe that needed to be done. Father, we just pray that you allow them to deal with just what happened. And Father, we pray for political leaders at this time, though divided. Father, we pray that they may get along so that they may make laws that would never forbid us of worshiping you, but make laws where we can live in peace. And in harmony. Oh, Father, we come praying. We come praying for the church at this time. Father, help us to gather together when we are gathering together. Help us, Father, always put you first in everything we do. Help us, Father, to show the world Christ in us. Oh, Father, we come praying for each listener at this time that's, that's under my voice. Father, we pray that you be with each and every one of them. Father, we pray that you be with their struggles. Be with that sickness. If there's someone out there, Father, that's struggling with diabetes, Father, be with them. If there's someone that's struggling, just had a stroke, be with them. If there's someone that just had a heart attack, be with them. If there's someone that's giving the diagnosis cancer and the doctor's giving up on them and just gave them days and months of years, Father, we pray that you add years to their lives. Oh, Father, we can we just pray for those that struggle financially. Father, we pray that you be with them. Father, we pray for the one that's struggling in that marriage. Help them to always look up to you for the answers to their struggles. Oh, Father, we pray for the one that's struggling on the job, that's struggling in school, that's struggling, just struggling, just struggling. Father, we pray that you would cast all those struggles, the mountain of trouble that they're going through in the deepest part of the sea so they may not resurface anymore. Oh, Father, we come praying for our program this time, chatting from the Word. Father, help us to keep this fine program on the air. Help us, Father, keep on chatting about your Word and from your Word. Help us, Father, keep on putting that snap in the Christian walk. And help us with the lesson today, the call of God. Help us, Father, that we may say something that will help those that are struggling at this time. Father, help us that we may say something that to those that are trying to make heaven their home. Just help us, Father, to say something to put that all-important snap in the Christian walk. And Father, we pray for those that we've been praying for all this time. Be with those that lost loved ones. Be with those that are struggling. Be with those that are trying to teach your word and make a difference in the world. Father, just be with those that are trying to find you at this time. Help them to find you. Help them to use this program as a catalyst to find you and to praise you and to love you. And Father, be comfortable. Be with me. Yes, I'm here. Help me to keep this program on the air. Father, help me to keep being encouraged so that I will not give up faith, so that I can keep on bringing you and your son to the forefront. In Jesus' name, do we pray, amen, and uh, a amen. All right, all right, all right. We want to thank you for praying along with us in that prayer, and as always, we hope that we pray for something that is on your minds. Amen and amen. And we'll be right back with the second half after these messages. All right, all right, all right, all right. 
everybody, welcome to the second half <laughs> of the program. We're so delighted that you still have your ears on. At least we hope that you still have your ears on. Keep your ears on, my friends, so that you can continue on listening to your brother here, brother Oscar. Y'all, we try. <laughs> We're trying our best. We really are to bring Christ to the forefront in many lives this morning. And we hope that we have accomplished uh, just that. Again, we are so thankful that you're listening in and that you're making chatting from your, from the word, uh, your favorite <laughs> program <laughs> to listen to. I know it's many out there. Uh, that's good. It's many good. Uh, programs out there that preaching and teaching God's Word. And I, and I do appreciate everyone that is uh, doing that. And I know the Lord is as well, especially they teaching and preaching the truth of God's Word. And of course, you know how we start our second half off. We start off again by asking for a donation. If you can help us out here or chat from the Word with a donation, that would be a beautiful, beautiful thing. We hope that you can do that. And if you can, we do have a account on PayPal. Just visit paypal.com. Put them an email address, which is Roy Case Oscar York. 3443 at gmail.com and you can do the same at Zell. Visit Zell and again put in my email address which is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com and we hope to do it today. Do it today, do it today because we do need your assistance in keeping this fine program going and going and going again. We hope that you do it today. And my friends, if you still if you still have your ears on, if you still if you still have your ears on, we want to thank you for having your ears on. We want to apologize for the phone going off. But we want to thank you for having your ears on and listen to us today. We really do. But if you still have your ears on, let us know how you like us here. I believe on the Spreaker platform, it's a place where you can put your likes, okay? Do that for us. Let us know that you like us and that you appreciate us coming on and bringing you that part important snap in your Christian walk today. But not only you like us, but follow us. Be the next follower of us on the Spreaker platform. And that will speak more louder than anything that you can do for us today. Follow us. But not only follow us, we are coming on live on YouTube at this time. And if you listen to us to our YouTube station, subscribe to us. Subscribe to us. Give us a thumbs up. <laughs> Sometimes I forget to say that, but give us a thumbs up and let us know that you love us and let us know that you like us and subscribe. And once you subscribe, a bell will come down and tap the bell and they will uh, probably ask you more questions. And of course, they will notify you every time that we are broadcasting and bringing on a program. Now, we are also coming on Twitter lives. If you're listening to, if you're listening, excuse me, if you're listening to us through our Twitter station, you're welcome. I'm glad that you're doing that. Of course, join us there as well. And then listen to us through our Facebook page, Facebooker, <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> I apologize, but Facebook, if you're on Facebook, listen to us, listen to us. You see the Bible, and she chatted from the Word in the, in the left corner. That's us. Tap us and listen to us. Tap on us and listen uh, to us this morning. And, of course, Tumblr. If you listen to us live on Tumblr, we are live also. Uh, through our Tumblr station. And of course, we own many of your favorite stations. Tune us in, tune us in. Uh, we own many of your favorite stations. So go ahead on and tune us in and like us. Tell us, you know, that you like what we're doing. Tell us that you love what we're doing. Tell us, and if you don't like us, that's fine. Just tell us, if you don't like us, how we can improve this program and to uh, make this program worth your while and worth your Christian growth because that's, to Brother Oscar, that is one of the most important components that we as Christians can do is to grow, grow strong in Jesus Christ. And I believe that we should help one another to do that. Maybe I'm no one believes that in the world, but you know, I believe that if, if, if Brother Oscar can 
put a little joy in your life today. I am so glad and so blessed to do just that I really am. Of course, we hope you still have years on and you're ready to hear our own selection for today. We hope that you are. We hope that you're ready to hear one more day by Rhonda. I hope you're ready. I'm 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 And here, 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 here she is, Vanda. One more day. Every time I wake up in the morning, I fall down on my knees and pray. Well, I thank God for opening up my eyes and blessing me just to see another day. Thank you. 
Amen and amen. That was the divine God. Thank you, Lord, for one more day. Thank you, Lord, for one more day. And we as Christians, we, we, we should thank the Lord for just giving us one more day. And my friends, it's up to all of us what we do with that one day that the Lord bless us with. We can either squander, squander in, in sin, doing whatever we want to do, or we can do the best by living for Jesus Christ and show the world Christ in us in that one day that the Lord has blessed us to live. Amen. And amen. All right, all right. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Where are you, brother Oscar? Where are you? Where are you, brother Oscar? Where are you? Here I am. Here I am. It is time for us to take another station break. And we'll be right back with the message after these messages. All right, all right, all right. We are back. We are back. <laughs> We're down laughing because, you know, a lot of you that listen to us live are wondering, where, where you been? Have been nowhere. <laughs> but we still thank you for listening to us live. And, uh, and if you listen to us live, tell others about us live so that they may tune in as well and listening to us live. Although we share the program with you after the program, but uh, I really appreciate those that are listening to us live and um, let you know that from the beginning. I appreciate you, love you, and I'm glad you listen to us live. And, but, but you all that do listen, we love you as well, and we thank you for talking us up and making chatting from the Word a part of uh, your day, brother Oscar. Appreciate that very much, and I know the Lord is smiling down upon you uh, by listening to a program that is glorifying Him and putting Him first and above all things. And we are so thankful uh, that you are uh, listening in. Now you know, during this time of our chat, you know what we believe here, don't you? Don't you recognize what we believe here? We believe that. Uh, here on Chatting from the Word, we don't only just teach, we don't only just preach. But what we do here, we chat about God's Word because we believe that is the most uh, intimate or cozy way that we can sit down and just talk about God's Word. Not preaching, but teaching, maybe a little preaching, but talking about God's Word in an intimate way. And as always, if you hear something that I said, and that you don't agree with, you can always, hey, let me know through our emails or through any page that you're listening to the program through. Brother Oscar, don't mind criticism. I, I love criticism. I thrive on that because it helps me to, 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 to be better or to get better if I can uh, uh, use uh, that term. It helps me. So if you, if you have any criticism for Brother Oscar, bring it on. I don't mind it. But what we ask you to do, if, if you find something that I've said is not according to scriptures, bring scriptures, text, chapter, verses of what you're talking about. Not, not no thing that you heard, not something that a commentary said, not something that a man-made book or his uh, opinion said, but but what God in His Word says, because I believe that that's the best way of dealing with the Word of God is with the Word of God, and that's what we do here on Chatting from the Word. When we bring lessons uh, to you on these chats, we do uh, use God's Word. We, we we use God's Word, and if you've been listening to Brother Oscar for some time, you know uh, that is to be a truth here. We we. Uh, allow Christ in the beginning of the, of the show, in the middle of the show, and at the end, because we recognize his sacrifice on the cross for us a long, long time ago, and we recognize that he died for our sins, for your sins, and for my sins. And we just appreciate the Lord and appreciate the Father for allowing 
his son to come down and to die for us. Man, isn't that something? Isn't that something? You know, this is just a, 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 a footnote here, but I, I, I do not understand how people can reject the Lord after him, after the Father sent his son, only begotten son down, to show us how to live. And then, of course, to show us how to die and to love one another. Christ faced the cross for you and for me. How can anyone reject that? I know many today, Robert Oscar, I just don't believe all the hogwash that you are putting down about what the Word of God says. I just don't believe in God. I don't believe one must live for God. And I, I tell them, I, I tell people that believe that, think about it. Think about what you're saying. From one who said they do not believe. And, and the fact is, if you're saying that you do believe, let me turn it around for a little while. If you're saying that you do believe, what a crisis. Christ says, if you love me or you believe in me, keep my commandments. And for those that don't believe, uh, aren't you worried about the judgment of God? The judgment of God. How can we reject the love of Jesus Christ? How can any of us reject him? But many of us, we reject him daily, don't we? And we reject him in so many ways. We may reject him by not really obeying him. And we might reject him by not accepting him. We all have rejected him one way or the other. Okay? If it's not by our actions, it might be by our thoughts and deeds that we do it. If it's not by that, it might be the fact that we, we don't show enough love. But I admit we all are going through our struggles. But going through a struggle and living in sin, my friends, is two different, uh, two different things. We want to live in sin, he's constantly sinning and don't recognize it's wrong. But one that is struggling in Christ Jesus, you may be struggling with a sin and know that you must quit it. And, and, and you're seeking help uh, to with that struggle because we all have struggles. But it's the way we deal uh, with our struggles. And the best way we can deal with our struggles today is to be in in the Lord and in his body. And in his body, there are those that can help you uh, through your struggles as long as you allow them to help you. Now, that's what makes a difference between a Christian and those that have not accepted Jesus Christ. All right. And today, of course, today our lesson would be on the call of God, on the call of God. I know many of you said, Brother Oscar, you ain't been on the only 15, 15 for the longest. And we certainly have. We have been, what we're doing here, we are, are going into a deep study in, on the letter that Apostle Paul uh, wrote to the Roman Christians. And at this point in Romans the chapter 15, and verse 15, he's talking about the grace that was given to him. The grace that was given to him. And of course, we went back to Acts 9. And basically what we did there was to uh, start with verse 1, although we are, we're doing, uh, I believe, 11 through 16. But we start with verse 1, where Saul had received uh, be okay from the high priest to go ahead on and destroy the disciples of Christ in Damascus. And on the road to Damascus, God stopped him with his light. God like shined on Paul to so much and knocked him to the ground. It blinded him. And, and don't, we, we, as, as we said on the lesson, when, when you're down, when, when, when God knocks you down, the only thing you can do is look up and say, what must I do? <laughs> and this is what Paul did. He asked that question. Boy, what do you want me to do? Now, you knocked me down. 
You, you call for light to shine on me. I am blind. What do you want me to do? Let me say this before I, I, I go further. You know, there's many components to grace. And we are dealing here with Paul's grace. Because Paul said the grace in Romans verse uh, 15, verse 15. Paul is talking about the grace that was given to him by God. The grace that was given to him. Oh, you got to recognize something here. The reason why Paul called it grace, because Paul was a devil. He, he was going around destroying the, 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 the disciples of Christ. He was, and Christ says, you know, I'm going to destroy my disciples. You're doing it to me, Paul. That's all. And God gave him that grace. God could have said, well, I ain't going to let you go into Damascus and, and, and destroy these Christians. I'm going to stop you. I'm going to just, just stop your mouth. I'm just going to let you die. So, but, but Christ did not do that, did he? I believe mean, many of us would if somebody did us wrong and, and, uh, and uh, did us wrong and, uh, and, and, and doing us wrong today. We, the only thing some of us we think about is getting revenge, don't we? But Paul wasn't thinking about getting revenge. God didn't got to get revenge. He could have revenge Saul. He could have said, Saul, I'm taking you out. But that's not what Christ did. Christ told Ananias that Saul was his chosen vessel. His chosen vessel. Not only a vessel. You know, many of us, we may have uh, things that we, we, we may look at in life as being beautiful and, and being great and, and being this and being that. But here, Christ called Saul his chosen vessel. He told Ananias, I chose him to be the apostle for the Jews and the Greeks alike. I chose him as a chosen vessel of mine to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. I chose him to do just that. And then the grace that was given him. You must recognize that Saul, first of all, Christ stopped him. Christ called to him. Christ told Saul, 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 why are you persecuting me? And Saul asked that all important question, what do you want me to do, Lord? At times when we are knocked down. And I'm saying this because we want to compare our conversion as well. But my friends, when we are knocked down, when things and problems come in our lives, and we can, some of us, we can truly see the sign that God is calling us, but do we answer the call? Or do we just ignore the call and say, why this is going on with me? Or why this is happening to me? Or why this or why that is happening? And not recognizing that God is calling you. Although God definitely called us to the gospel. But don't you ever, do you ever wonder why things are going on in your life, especially if you're not a Christian? Do you want to be a Christian? But here, Paul, that's all. Ask the question. Now you knock me down, Father. Lord Jesus, you knock me down. Shine a light on me. I am fine. What do you want me to do? Now, 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 now. What, what we got to recognize here, and, and, and although, although we're going all the way around where we want to get to, but let me say this. Jesus, by indirect, did not tell Saul what to do. He asked the question. And Christ's answer to him was go to a city. Go into Damascus to a street called Street. And he stayed in the house of Judah. But what Christ did next was appear unto his man Ananias in a vision. And told Ananias about Saul. 
See, Saul has prayed. He's praying. He's praying. And he's seeing the vision. You come to him and touching him. And of course, we said in the lesson of Ananias, did not want to go at first because of Saul's reputation, because Saul had a bad reputation, but Ananias recognized that this was Christ telling him to do this. And he went to old Saul and he said, Brother Saul, Brother Saul. And he touched Saul. And Saul re received his sight. Isn't that something? God's grace. He received his sight when the man of God touched him. But let me, you must recognize a man of God had to come to Saul and touched him and told him about the gospel of Jesus Christ. And then what happened next? Most may want to refuse baptism, but Saul and Elias baptized Saul. Saul was baptized. And after his baptism, he was converted. But during his conversion, he was tried. He was tested. And he was proven. Now, we have said many times that uh, sometimes when we come to Christ, uh, we have baggage. If Brother Oscar can use that term. Uh, we have baggage that we need to deal with. And sometimes what we did before our conversion comes back. It does come back and hunt us from time to time. If you were the type of person that was into prostitution, young ladies, and then you was well known uh, by your customer. You might see a customer and say, hey, honey, how are you? You know what Brother Oscar is talking about. And here you trying to live that Christian life. And then you might be with someone that is a Christian. And they might wonder, why he call you that? <laughs> why he call you that? You know what Brother Oscar is saying. Sometimes it's not like easy uh, to, you know, live down our past. And, and what we must recognize, the past is the past. And, and we must deal with the past. And, and Saul, Paul, dealt with his past. He had a past that uh, his past was going around destroying the work of God. And of course, those that was in, the, in Christ and the Jews did not want to accept Jesus. Uh, except Paul teaching or Saul teaching, and in the beginning they start out to want to kill Saul. Of course, Saul had a reputation to live down like a lot of us do today. When we come to Jesus Christ, things are not going to be rosy. Uh, many of us believe things will be rosy and everything will work out. And everything going to be okay. But you know what? All of us has a past. We all have a past. All of us have lived at some time in this world. We're going to all have a past. And when we come to Jesus Christ, that past just don't automatically uh, disappear. But at every time it does, if you continue on living for Jesus Christ, if you continue on staying on the righteous path, if you continue on showing Christ to the world, a world that does not know Christ. And sometimes, like I said, it takes the church to help you at times. And when I'm talking about the church, I'm talking about the members in the church. We should be able to, to aid each other when it comes through to our struggles in life. And we're going to have struggles. And at the point of your conversion, uh, you, 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 you baptized, your sins are washed away, but you still have a past that others may remember. Many may say, well, what uh, is that? Uh, what is he? <laughs> but he changed. I've changed. I'm not that anymore. I'm a Christian. And I love the Lord. That is the reason I believe, I believe now, that Apostle Paul, everywhere he, he went, he talked about his conversion. He talked about how Jesus met him on the road to Moscow and stopped him. He's talking about the grace that was given to 
him. And I wonder, I wonder how many of us, how many of us today, if you've been in the church of the body of Christ for quite some time, how many of us can go back to the day that we was converted and can remember when we was converted and what we was going through before our conversion? If you read my book, A Peaceful Place in the Storms, I talked about that. I talked about as a young man how confused about life I was and how uh, many questions I had about things that was going on around me. And then a neighbor said, hey, uh, we have a young preacher, Thomas Foster. Here come and you talk with me. He came and talk with me. And of course, that's my conversion. But what about your conversion? And then you all who not converted, who have not accepted Jesus Christ. I'm going to let you know, sometimes the road is not rosy. But the promise of salvation is worth it. You know, to Brother Oscar, salvation is everything. I don't know about you, but Christ's love for me is everything. When Christ died on the cross for me, let me know how much, how much he truly loved me. How much God loved me. How much, uh, how much God gave up for me. And many of us, we want to complain about how much money things cost. When Christ himself gave up his life. Oh, my friends, that is something worthwhile to think about. All right? And we want you to think about that. When you, when you come to Christ, don't worry about what you're giving up. But worry about living for Christ and becoming that new creature in Jesus Christ. That new person in Jesus Christ. The world may not see it, but you know. <laughs> you know you are. <laughs> okay, you know you are. And we want to leave with that thought today. Your conversion. Your conversion. The grace that was given to you at your conversion. And that's what we want to talk about the next time we talk about it. And that will be tomorrow. And we hope that you join us tomorrow. Uh, for the rest of this lesson, I don't know what I'm going to say till I say it. <laughs> you all know about us. We're just chatting. But we want you to join us tomorrow to hear the rest of this chat on the call of God. The call of God. All right, all right, all right, all right. We'll be right back with the closing after these the messages. All right, all right, all right. We're getting ready to close out this hour. We're so delighted to be with you. We're so delighted to, to share a song with you and a thought with you today. And we hope and pray that you will take heed to the things that we have said in our chat today. And we hope that this chat has been uplifting and has put that all-important snap in your Christian walk today. Day. Amen. Amen. But we must get on out of here. We pray with me, please. Our Father, which art in heaven, Lord, be thy name. Thy kingdom has come. Thy will is being done. Father, we thank you for each listener that's listened to us this morning. We pray that you be with them, guide them, help them have a wonderful, beautiful day. Help them to walk with that snap in their Christian walk. In Jesus' name do we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Love somebody. Love everybody. Bye-bye. May God bless you.